probably look what I'm opening. Bear Brown. <laughs> oh, whoa. There is Bear Brown. I can tell just by looking at it, it is nothing what it looks like on the website. Absolutely not. But it's pretty. I don't care. It's just forewarning. If you look on the website, it's like a really light, tannish nude. Now it's like a bright, dark brown. But it's pretty. I don't care. I like it. <laughs> so. Oh, perfect. And you know how, like, those cheap lipsticks smell like crayons? Uh, I had a few of those. They drove me nuts. I threw them away. So there is Bare Brown. Now here is... Nicely nude, and I'm going to look at the sample online. I'm on their website right now. They have $1 lipsticks, but these are $5, and I thought they'd be worth it. Nicely nude. Just looking at the picture. See, this one's a lot more like the picture. It's still a little bit darker, but it's more like the picture than Bare Brown. It's still a nude, pretty nude. I like it. And I will do a separate review on these, as I've said. I will do a separate review on all of these. Leave in the comments which ones you would like to see first. And now, my last two things in the, the lip category are a um, therapeutic conditioning balm. And I got it in strawberry cream. And then... I got the Luscious Liquid Lipstick in, where'd it go, Baby Lips. I'm looking forward to trying these. I'm going to save these for the reviews. I'm not going to open them. I'll probably open them after five minutes of the video being over, but you're going to have to wait to see. Alright, now I'll move on to the face category. And I got a crap load of stuff in the face category. First off, I'll start is with a mineral blush from obviously their mineral line. And this is not mine. I bought it for my mom because she was nice enough to help me pay for these. Because I'm a cheapo teenager. It's in color coral. Alright, so it's in this nice little container. Kind of reminds me of the Berry Essentials containers. I don't know if that's... My mom has them upstairs, that's why. So that's the... I actually get a lot of product. And it's a nice mineral blush. I might ask my mom if I can do a review on this because technically this is hers. She doesn't know I have it right now. She doesn't know this stuff came. I should probably tell her. Maybe later. Alright. This video is getting long. I don't even know how. Freaking heck, I keep dropping things. <laughs> Alright. Moving on, I got the All Over Color Stick in Spotlight to highlight. And it looks a lot bigger on the website, honestly. But that's alright. I wish they'd have, like, actual sizes on the website. And it looks like this. It's not too much product, but it's it's fine. I'm sure it'll last quite a bit. And it looks pretty. I like it. Let me swatch it. I'm running out of places to swatch. Okay, I swatched it there. I rubbed it in. This is if I don't rub it in. Let's see, would be nice for spot or what highlighting. Because it's not a complete white, but it's like a really light nude color. And this is from their, yes, it's from their $1 line, so it's a dollar. Duh. Alright, next thing I got was the $1 tinted moisturizer. I thought I'd try that before I got the big one. That was $3. So, here we go. So, I got the tinted moisturizer in light beige because I'm light skin but not porcelain pale. I kind of got like a tint to my skin. This is like the second shade, so I got the second shade in everything. 
Okay, next thing I got was from their Essentials line, the Zip Zapper. I read so many good reviews about it on their site, and they it they said it's like a miracle in a bottle or pen thingy. So yeah. This is the Zip Zapper. I have a gnarly one right over here, which I'm going to try it on. <laughs> so that'll probably be one of the first reviews. I'm not having a lot of room on here. Next thing I got was the Tone Correcting Concealer in Light Beige. So I got the Tone Correcting Concealer, and I'll, again, it's got that nice little um, applicator thingy smooth glide applicator what they say and I read good reviews about this too I read all the reviews on all the, repo the, the, the products on the website before I bought anything so that's good next thing I got is the mineral face primer the mineral face primer and obviously it's from their their studio line because it's in the black packaging I like their packaging. A++ on their packaging. I'm going to take this out. So, I, got, I finally got it out of the packaging. And it is so cute. It's smaller than I thought it would be, but not like, itchy bitchy tiny. It's actually a really good size. I'm going to pump it. I am running out of places. And as you can see, it's very nice, clear. Oh my goodness. It's so velvety. It's like, oh, it's like satin. Oh my gosh, it's so, oh, I'm so glad I got this. The packaging, cute. Velvety, freaking smooth. A++, plus plus. I will still do a review on this to see if it actually works with foundation. And, yeah. Let's move on to, I got, I don't have a lot of makeup to begin with. I'm surprised I have any makeup. Because I don't have a lot of money to spend. So I usually get drugstore makeups. I've never gotten anything like MAC, NARS, Sephora. Actually, I have one Sephora thing that my grandma got for me when she was in Vegas. Anyway. <laughs> I got the Flawless Finish, Finish Foundation in Sand. Focus. Good lord. This, again, this is like the second, second shade in their um, colors. And it's also a pump applicator. And na, 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 it says somewhere. It's got SPF 15 and it is oil free. And this is from their studio line. <laughs> I like it. Leave such a nice finish. I just put it over nail polish so it looks really weird now. put it on my arm. Whoa. And the shade might not work for me later in the winter because I get pale in the winter. But I don't care. I will wear it anyway. And next in my face stuff, I got the high definition powder. I've heard many rave reviews on this. Sounds absolutely delightful. I had to get it. My fingers are wet with foundation. <laughs> Alright. And this is bigger than I expected. Oh. Like, the primer was smaller than I expected, and this was bigger than I expected. Oh my god, ew. Mine opened. E there's powder everywhere. Mine spilled open. Well, actually, actually, the sticker's all fully intact. Freaking heck, man. There's like powder in here. It's supposed to be clean. God. Elf, please don't do that again. <laughs> um. Ooh, the puff's really soft says Isop's face on it. So, yep. And I've also heard comments about this that they don't give you a lot of product. Mine actually seems like quite a bit. 
not as much as it could be, but quite a bit compared to what I've seen. Sucks it was open though. I'm sure it's not their fault. And then, all right. Next, I got the contouring blush and bronzing powder. And this I was excited about because I heard it was a dupe to a NARS blush and bronzer. The Orgasm blush and the Laguna bronzer. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a dupe is good. A dupe is cheap. And I'm never going to be able to afford the real thing, so I might as well. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got like hints of shimmer in there. I love shimmer. Glitzy cat. Duh. It's from the studio line. It's got like a little protector. I'm liking it. And a little mirror. Don't you look beautiful? Your your name's Sony. Nice to meet you. Ow. Fudge. Alright, so it comes with the blush and the bronzer, which I'm definitely going to use. It's such a pretty color. I'm gonna swatch it. I'm running out of places to swatch. Okay. Swatch on my thumb. Oh, it's so pretty. That blush. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I will swatch the bronzer. Ooh, use sparingly, children. <laughs> use sparingly. So, and you know what else I noticed? It's a lot heavier than I expected. Which is good. That means it's durable and it's worth the money. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, now moving on to the last category, which is brushes and tools. First tool I got was the $1 Mechanical Eyelash Curler. And I've heard, again, many great reviews on this. It's supposed to be like better than the expensive ones. And it comes with this little protector thing. The eyelash curler I have now is the Mary Kay eyelash curler. And the NYC eyelash curler, which eh, it's kind of meh. And just like comparing size, this one is wider, so you can get more lashes with it. And it comes with a little spongy thingy, so in case your thingy wears off. Next, I got five brushes. This is from their studio line. I've always wanted a stippling brush, so I finally got a stippling brush. And not only a stippling brush, a affordable stippling brush. Oh my god, it's so soft. I love it, love it, love it. I haven't even tried it out, and I love it. Just feeling it on my face. I do the same thing with my fan brush. I run it across my face because it's so soft. It's covered in powder, too. So, it's such a pretty stippling brush. It's not too dense, but I really don't care. I don't want it to be dense. I love it. I absolutely... <coughs> I haven't even tried it yet. I'm in love. Next brush I got is the Studio Concealer Brush. So this is the concealer brush. It's... Just like that, perfect for concealer. Again, super soft. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And it's so sleek and lightweight. It's perfectly perfect. Let's see. Is the small angled brush for my new cream liner that I got. So Again, it's very sleek and it, it's lightweight. It's just gorgeous, honey. It's gorgeous. I like it. Next, I got two brushes from their $1 line. I got the eyeshadow brush, their foundation brush, which is, these are apparently new. Next, I got two brushes from their $1 line. I got the eyeshadow brush and their foundation brush, standard eyeshadow brush. It is super, super soft. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye.